What is going on everyone? D here uh, with another Pokemon card opening video for you. And today, as you can see, right in front of us here, we have the amazing new set, Scarlet and Violet, with the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Uh, I am so very excited to open this. So let's just get right into it. No sense beating around the bush. As far as what I've seen so far is that this set looks incredibly awesome. Uh, they've changed up the pack structure a lot to match what I think is very similar to the high class packs from Japan. And yeah, just so cool. So cool, let's get into it. Don't wanna beat around the bush like I've already said and a very cool inner sleeve. We have our player's guide, which we can look at later. And let's just get right into this. Oh man. Okay. So as in any ETB, you get the main draw, the booster packs. Then it also comes with these new damage counters, which are very nice. I like them. You get these die damage markers. Which I think they could have had a very nice red color to them to match the theme. And these are actually really cool. Um, my favorite. Um, I obviously picked Scarlet for the, the video games, and I picked the Coridon. And I picked the Coridon box. And yeah. Comes the hollow. Open those up in a second. And then you get. Oh, they actually come individual. I thought they were both in one. That's cool. And I get Block of Energy. And actually, these new the new energy cards are very cool. I like the design. It's very reminiscent of the uh, Japanese cards as well. But you know, I'm, I'm I'm glad they're taking more more of a a uh, they're borrowing more from the Japanese side of things. Which is super cool. Let's open up the one promo card for right now. Oh, so cool. So cool. Let's get a better, better angle on this bad boy. And obviously, this is the Pokemon Center ETB, so the other one has this Pokemon Center stamp on it, which is cool. And I also like that you get um, two, because then you could trade one with a friend, and you can end up with both promos, and I thought that was just really cool. So, get some sleeves out here. Not that I plan to pull a whole lot, but I don't know, it's even these, even the 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 packs that don't have the quote-unquote hits in them, they, they're still fun. Still fun to open. So let's put that bad boy right over there. We've got packs, and I believe you come. it comes with 10 packs, because it's the Pokemon Center ETB, and I'm not complaining about that. So okay, let's just jump into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven packs. Oh yeah, no, sorry, you get eleven. Good thing I checked before I made another video titled Error Something Box. Okay. Pack number one. And then... Also, must try to save at least one of the each of the artworks for the packs. So let's see. In these beautiful silver borders, got the Caps a Kid, Potion, Weasel, Energy Retrieval, Blissey, Tatsugiri, Jacques, and. Reverse Hollow Tarantula, 
which these reverse hollow patterns are very nice. We have a nest ball and we have a cyclozar rare. I've noticed that cyclozar has a bunch of different rarities in this set and I think that's kind of cool. I like cyclozar. It's kind of growing on me as a as a Pokemon. So I actually caught a shiny one, a couple shiny ones in, in, in the game. Yes, the Coridon pack. Just trying to get that out. And I don't think I did it enough. Because I also like to collect one of the artworks for every every set if I if I so happen to to pick some up. Shroomish, excellent manky artwork. Char Cadet. Looking fierce. Another Capsa Kid. Mousehold. Crocolore. Florges. Alola Mola. Reverse. Then we got a Halucha reverse. Seen mostly him as a hollow rare. And speaking of hollow rares, we have Palmot. And we have a nice psychic energy. And yeah, I really like the, the hollow pattern on the borders. And yeah, it's, I think hollows are, they've changed for the better. I, I like it. Okay, pack number three. And so I've also learned that all the black border codes are for booster boxes and then you get white border codes for everything else which I thought was very interesting and you know it just makes things simpler don't have to spoil anything watch roll one, probably my, one of the two of my favorite new Pokemon this generation as soon as I saw as soon as I saw it in game I was like yep I need him on my team Stone Clay, Stone Journey, and then speaking of Watchful, there's Kilowattril, probably one of my more favorite regional birds the, of the regional birds that we get. And a Coridon. That's the hollow with a steel energy at the back. It's just really, really cool. So yeah, I wasn't sure what the main difference between the normal ETBs and the Pokemon Center ETBs, but yeah, I guess you get two promos as well as uh, 11 packs, which I thought was crazy. Which, I mean, yeah, I guess they want to buy from Pokemon Center, I guess. Let's see, we have Potion, Weasel. Energy Retrieval, Lechonk, Muck, Pavilion, Dash Bun, Shuppet, oh my, Arvin Full Art Trainer. Oh my gosh, and Arvin has such a good story in the game too that I was, I was hoping that I would pull this. A little something on the corner there, but honestly, who cares? Oh, that is that is nice. Actually, something on the tops too. And then with a King Gambit, and that's a another new Pokemon that I I really enjoy this generation. Give Bisharp a cool new evolution. A pain in the butt to uh, to get, but other than that. But then going back to that Kilowattro, uh, I'm, I'm a little sad they, they used the, that artwork for the, the base set. There's, a, there's another artwork in the Japanese set that uh, I thought was a little better. Um, oh, the camera. Hopefully for good luck. Okay, Krogunk. Jitene, Curlia, Switch, Penny... Quaxwell. Ooh, I'm spoiling something back there. Cyclozar has the uncommon, another artwork. T 
Toxel as a reverse. And I have a Skull Villain as an art rare. Wow. That's an amazing artwork. So cool. I'm really glad they're bringing these back. Because, oh, oh, and then we have an Annihilate. That's the hollow. Annihilate, another cool new evolution this generation. So yeah, I don't know, I just feel like the... These packs feel nice too, they're nice and sturdy, like they're not gonna fall apart. Slowpoke, another Wattrel, Zangoose, nice artwork on the Zangoose, the Zangoose needs some more love, Crobunk, Tatsugiri, Scovillain, cool grass fire type, Torkoal, Charcadet as the reverse, and we have Muck, I almost wasn't sure if that was a reverse holo, the, the the dark Pokemon are always so difficult to see the reverse. Then we have a nice Arboliva holographic. Okay. Looks like you get a nice assortment of artworks, which is nice. Now, these packs just tear open really easy and nicely. Fue Coco. Not my favorite starter, if I'm being honest with you. And then here's a nice Tropius artwork. Uh, I didn't even realize it was in the set. And then I saw it pulled in a, a video. And I like that. I like that Tropius. I like Tropius. I wish it was a little more competitive. And then, oh, Toad's Cruel. Another amazing new Pokemon that I fell in love with once I saw it. And, yeah. Let's get some, some Tentacool. Some Toad's Cool, sorry. Some mouse hold, vitality band, flabebe, weasel, and, and a Gardevoir EX, and a fire energy. So the new EX cards. I was not part of the hobby when EX cards first made their debut, however. Um, yeah, they're very nice cards, and hoping to get many, many more. Alright, we have a little Tiffany. Curlia. Switch. Another Fue Coco, probably my least favorite of the stars if I hadn't, didn't say that already. Breloom, another Kilowatt Troll, Greedent, Capsicid as the reverse, along with Zangoose as a reverse hollow, and then we have Armor Rouge. Now, obviously, be choosing Scarlet, this guy was one of the main reasons, and yeah, he's just so cool. Yeah, I mean, Cerulege is okay too, but, um, yeah, Armor Rouge was just the, well, I shouldn't say it was a d defining factor, honestly, the Legendary was, um, the main, main call. I just liked, I just like my Pokemon being alive rather than a, a robot, but that's just me. Palpad, throwback to Gen 4, Flabebe, Toxel, Ralts, Toxtricity, Crocolore, Muck, Squawkabilly, Skidoo, and Professor's Research, Professor Turo. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we've got two packs left. And I think I've got my art set already. 
You know what? They should have just put in a 12th pack to make it an even four. Sets of four. But um, that's just me being greedy. Watron, Zangoose, Krogunk, Dedene, another artwork of Dedene. I think that's a different one. Bombardier. Hypno, first Hypno today. Beach Court, Smoliv as a reverse. Sprigatito as a reverse. And Meowscarada, how fitting, as a hollow. This was my starter that I picked. And yeah, I was kind of hoping that, you know, it would be a quadrupedal cat Pokemon, but I mean, not really much to do about that one. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. I like that, another Tropius. Pokeball. Rotom. Palpad. Crookedile, oh, and I like that artwork. Crookedile is a fun Pokemon. Flamigo, another fun Pokemon that was introduced. Fortress, Reverse Hollow Rotom, Reverse Hollow Mezagoza, and we have a Skeledurge Holographic. Very nice. All right. Well, so that was the Pokemon Center ETB. Just as a little recap here, we got a nice Gardevoir EX, a Scovillain Art Rare, an Arvin Full Art Trainer, very, very beautiful, and the amazing Coridon promo. And then let's just quickly go through the hollows. Another good thing about all of the, the new set is that there's just, you know, you feel like you get stuff. And that's always what you want. Keep people, give people what they want, come back for more. That is always my motto. Keep the prices down. All right, so that will do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment. Uh, catch you later.